the, the steps. The steps. Yeah. The strategies to take. Yeah, because a lot of people's at a standstill and they're wondering, well, what can I do or what do I need to do? Right. So uh, they're really listening and really hoping uh, for help here. That's right. So, you know, a lot of times it's it's how you position a child mm -hmm. you know, or it, it's um, strategies to, you know, in, for example, you know, increase the time that you read books to your child mm -hmm. or increase the time that you're talking, explaining what you do to the child and right. encourage modeling language and, and just different things like that. Well, I'm sure you've uh, faced different situations like maybe children that's continuously crying and throwing fits and even holding their breath mm -hmm. and, and their face is turning blue and purple. Mm -hmm. You know, you know ways of uh, stepping through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, oftentimes uh, behavior issues are are uh, a, a common uh, concern. Yeah. And so it's... Uh, and, and parents could be worried about their child that sleeps so much, mm -hmm. you know, uh, not awake, not eating right, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So you touch all the different bases here. We do, yeah, and we try and provide materials to parents that... That, that they can use that shows kind of the developmental milestones. Mm -hmm. You know, well, my child is between the ages, the months of 12 and 16 months of age, and so we can provide information. Well, these are some things that your your child should be doing. These mm -hmm. are some things, these would be some skills that are should be emerging within your child that, right. sh that you could begin to look for the front ends of those behaviors. Do you uh, find that a lot of times that uh, parents are lacking in, in parenting skills? Uh, there's um, in some aspects. In some, uh, yes, in, there are times you, you um, often will encounter parents who are very concerned. You yep. know, they they may think, well, I don't know what to do, you right? Know, or I don't know what my baby should be doing. And oftentimes, you know, those parents love their children mm -hmm. and they're very concerned about them. Right. Uh, um, often they kind of have those skills and the information, but maybe out of concern or anxiety or whatever that might be mm -hmm. they uh, are maybe unsure about their parenting skills so oftentimes young parents will, will kind of and we notice a growing trend of this a lot of the the caregivers and parents are the grandparents now. oftentimes that's the case Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they might not be up to date with the current skills, and, and they might be at a, a dismay, wondering what's wrong with this mm -hmm. child, you know. Yeah. Uh, disorders like depression could set in at an early age. Where's mommy? Where's mm -hmm. daddy? You know, mm -hmm. and things like that. And you guys can really reach in there and help them. Yeah. yeah. There's, uh, there's so many obstacles that little toddlers are, are faced with, uh, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And you all work together as a unit here, and you work with other organizations, like if uh, the child needs further services, you can contact them and get them involved. We do. Oftentimes we will uh, help make referrals to various places, you know, maybe to have their hearing evaluated, maybe right. to have their vision evaluated. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes maybe we, we refer to the hospital for different maybe a swallowing study. This mm -hmm. child is having difficulty with feeding issues. So there's um, concern that they may be uh, aspirating, having their food go into their lungs. Right, and right. Different scenarios such as that. Or, you know, the way they even digest food. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. some is not mm -hmm. digesting correctly. That's correct. That's stomach correct. troubles, mm -hmm. everything. There's so many things to look at and so many things to keep up with. You know, and it's enough to make a parent or a grandparent worry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they want the best for this child. They want a healthy child. Uh, but if they start to see, what's some of the warning signs that we can look for in our children and grandchildren? Well, you know, I guess the main thing uh, would be to have an understanding of the developmental milestones mm -hmm. for the child. You know, what, and we kind of break that down into categories. You know, for, for example, language. Uh, what should this baby be doing as far as understanding right. spoken language and understanding and being able to make language, make right. the sounds, okay? Or, and then you look at maybe the motor skills. You know, is this baby pulling this up to stand? Is this baby rolling over? Does, mm -hmm. she, does he ha or she have head control? So the main thing is to kind of have a basic understanding of, of the child development. What should my baby be doing? Right. And then... You know, you could have a checklist. Well, yeah, 
they're doing this, they're doing this. Well, maybe they're not doing that, mm -hmm. you know. And then, you know, as, as you kind of see that pattern, then you could make the referral to, to us. Exactly right. And now First Steps has been in uh, this organization for uh, quite a while? We, yes, we have. Uh, I don't know the exact um, year. I want to say it was um, in the, uh, actually I want to say it was in the early 80s. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Throughout the years, you helped countless families and, and things like that. Uh, what are your hours of operation? I mean, like if somebody wanted to come in the office and just sit down and say, listen, I need help here. I need. Well, our office is open from 8 in the morning till 4.30 in the evening. Okay. Monday through Friday. Um, to 4.30. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes, our... Uh, uh, our therapists that we contract with, you know, some of them are, are school teachers, mm -hmm. some of them have other other full-time jobs, and they might do this part-time. Right. And so oftentimes they will go to the home in the evenings mm -hmm. to provide services. Sometimes you have uh, parents that work all day and, and they want to be involved, and so they'll, you know, the therapists can meet with them. 